What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! We got the San Antonio Spurs at the Phoenix Buns. Once again, who is making these NBA schedules, bro? We just seen this game, the exact one, not even five days ago. NBA, fix y'all schedules. There's 35 other NBA teams. The Phoenix Buns are not that good. The Buns got Kevin Durant. Booker at Devin, hopefully he plays. Bela Bradley, hopefully he plays. We haven't seen him at all this season. And the rest are nobodies. The Spurs, wet bananas, Vaseline dude. The Johnson Keldon dude. And the rest are no well, Check it Washington. out. And Charade Mitchell. And away we go from this. This is crazy. We've literally seen the same the match of five less days ago. Oh, look is bad. Oh, we got blocked by Wet Bananas. Bro, already making an immediate impact. I love that. Oh, yeah, Booker, this is a grown man game. Wet Bananas, next time he's to turn around at Booker and stare him down and be like, bro, this is a grown man game. Bro. Booker is a grown-ass man getting packed by a 19-year-old, bro. Let that sink in. Bro, got a headband thing in him. Get that out of here. Dog, this is so crazy, bro. This weapon in has barely jumped on this one, bro. This is like a, you know what I'm saying? You know, the weapon in is doing one of those jumps, you know, like when you're going, like, in a hallway. And, you know, if you're a real hooper hooper, you like to, like, touch the top of the, like, the ceiling thing. Bro, that's exactly what he did. You can't make this up. Man, and Book is still down. Weapon has got the ball as he should. Quick pass. One more pass to Vaseline. Got number 10 with the spot up jumper. Fox Burns are up 7-0. Banana fast break, finally they give it the bottom, wet bananas! Bro, you know what's crazy? Every single fast break, the Spurs can literally be on this timing, bro. It's crazy because, bro, wet bananas is so young and he knows how to run the proper routes, bro, when running a fast break. Usually, you typically, especially with big man, too, you typically see them being sloppy running, you know, and, 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 and the thing that I was actually, uh, like, blessing in disguise with, with, with such like this... Even back in the day when I was in high school, bro, when I played on the team, bro, like, off the bat, the coach always, always told us how to properly run fast breaks. So if it was a two-on-one, a three-on-one, you know what I'm saying, etc. You know what I'm saying? Wet Bananas knows how to give the proper space, but not to be much out the way. But, uh, but not be too much out the way. And what I mean by that is that he's running perfectly inside route. But he's not too far in the sideline where it makes the pass for the number 10 dude to be super difficult. Where Weapon Ass has to do like one of these and like risk getting out of bounds or maybe trapped in the corner and everything like that. Like he just knows how to probably have the right spacing. And sometimes that's rare, especially in a big man. That's just like coming to the NBA. It's just amazing. This is like a generational inspirational icon. Perfect route. Perfect dunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, who could need to take notes on this? Damn! One more time. Man. The Buns don't even have a point yet. And look at Weapon A. It's like body figure. Uh, body language. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just enjoying himself. Like, he looks like he's just out there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, getting the hang of everything a lot more. A lot more confidence. Oh, that was a good travel. Why is Allen and Grayson scoring? Explain. Buster. On the driving kick. Kevin. Durant for three. Yes. Durant. The transition defense there by the Spurs. The Durant. Ooh. <laughs> KD filled himself. He like, hold on. Why we, why we, why we down by this much? It ain't scoring. But is, is this a national televised game? Or it's like one of them in city games. Oh. Two and a half minutes. Collins. 
You gotta really respect him in the paint. Eubanks, tied up there in the that baseline. Assistant principal Throws versus assistant principal. Crime happening down low in the paint. Can't he hit the end one? <laughs> Who is that guy? He got signed last night. Here is Osmond. He'll line up the three. Where's Weapon Ed is at? Yes, he can. You gotta respect him. Oh, there he is. Weapon and his kitty. Oh. Ah, ah. He got it back. Okay. Weapon and his. It looks like he hurt his arm a little bit, you see? And I've already been saying this. Now, wait in like literally two years when Wet Bananas gets to a Kung Po build. Because it's going to take some time. You're not going to be. It's impossible for anybody to just bulk up a lot of muscle like the way Kung Po has. Or any just type of person that just consistently works out in the gym and knows how to properly have a bulking routine and all that types of stuff. The muscle is. See? In two years, this ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Weapon Bananas look like he got shooken up right here on a play. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 in two years, literally, who's ever guarding him like this, they're going flying at the free throw line. They're able to do that some now because he's just getting to the league. He's younger. And this is just the key. This is literally the only weakness that Wet Bananas needs to do. And it's literally the easiest thing. All he has to do is just eat more. I know it's tough and difficult to do. You know what I'm saying? Because coming from a person like me, I'll be trying to, like, you know what I'm saying, bulk a little bit and try to get, like, a lot, a lot not crazy, like, 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 WWE wrestling muscles type ish, but like you know what I'm saying just a little bit. But bro, most of the time, bro, I only eat like one time a day, and I don't really be eating till like about like seven or eight, if that. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I'm just eating water and or like juices and smoothies and stuff. Um, so you know, it's sometimes you know hard to just consistently. Eat. But if wet bananas can just get a strict meal, even if it's just like a meal prep plan or something like that, and by the summer of 2024. Just strictly just go on to eating at least two to three times a day with just like some snacking in between and stuff like that. Oh boy, next season, bro. Like if he just picks up like 15 more, 10, 15 more pounds, you know what I'm saying? Like it's over, bro. Like Katie in two years is going to go flying at the free throw line, maybe the three point line. Next time Weapon Ends is down low in the paint like that. I'm glad Weapon Ends wasn't hurt, though. He almost missed that. He could tell he was a little bit shooken up. You can tell Weapon Bananas is tough, too. Like, he shook off that injury like nothing like absorb. Weapon Bananas is open, and teammates want to be the superhero. Okay. Here is Gordon, step back three on the right. Oh, here. Why is he scoring like that? That's the dangerous push and fishy play against that you know. Yo, they double team and Booker his first game back. <laughs> <laughs> I three, love the toxicity. The mark, the That's the most open shot Booker had all game. On the They're well, down by like 40 right now. Holy shit. It's hard to beat anybody. Bananas! There you go! Finally! You see what happens when you stop trying to be the main character. Good job, you casual role player. Great job. Now, free game. If you want a free 7 plus assist to your stat sheet and be a little bit more remembered in the NBA, continue to do that shit. Because let me tell you, you can do that about 10 to 7 times a game. I don't even understand. The crazy thing is, like, niggas in this generation don't understand how to play their position. Like, it's so shocking. Like, nigga, if you throw me out there in the NBA right now, nigga, I'm literally going to full-on take it. Like, throw me out there right now with the San Antonio Spurs. I'm full-on taking full advantage in being a first NBA player to average 22-plus assists a game. Flux scoring at least 10-plus points a game. Wet Bananas is the main character. Nigga, I'm just going to sit there and do this, nigga. I'm going to be at half court, nigga, doing all. Bro, these dudes don't get it, bro. Not everybody can be the captain of the ship. Like, bro, he don't even realize that you can literally sit there and break an NBA record of averaging, like, the most assists in a season if you just sit there and do that instead of just stop trying to shoot the ball like your prime MJ or Reggie Miller, bro. You know what I'm saying? That goes for the rest of his teammates. Look at Vaseline. You're doing a perfect job playing your role. Stand in the corner. If wet bananas can't get open, you're the second option. You know what I'm saying? Number 33, passing the ball. This is amazing. Oh, bro. You know what, I hate to even give the Spurms free game like this because they're on the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? And they're going to have to face the Warriors at some point in the playoffs. Bro, like, I hate to admit it, 
But you may just take the Warriors up to seven games. If you can, you're still not gonna win. But if you can have a consistent offense and just doing some basic shit like that, and Wet Bananas is going up and getting at least 10 to 15 of those alley oop dunks a game, and then we're not gonna be have to force to guard the paint, that's gonna open up your outside perimeter. And so now you have your other role players like Vaseline and then the Johnson dude. They're gonna be open a lot more. And then for anybody who else who happens to get the ball, it'll be open for the perimeter. And you can continue to rotate that type of offense, bro. Don't let, bro, wait, bro, when I am a coach, in sports world, bro, when I'm past 35 plus, bro, I'm gonna be the number one problem ever in history, bro. It's just this this game is too easy, bro. And I honestly just think it just comes from just experience. You know what I'm saying? So I will give it to that. But bro, do this offense a lot more. This is very simple. This is very subtle. What's so hard about this? Who's gonna guard this? Well, Bananas has hands similar to Randy Moss. You know what I'm saying? And he's eight foot five and a half. Nobody is going to be able to jump with him except for a compo, and you're not going to be playing the Milwaukee Bucks every single night. <laughs> Jockeys can't even jump with this, bro. Who's going to jump with this? You can do this 10 to 15 times all game. It is not that difficult. Finally. There you go. Give him the ball more. Look at that mix match. Oh, yeah. Weapon Anis. Weapon Anis! Bro, has the shooter touch. Oh my gosh, bro. What was Doran of Eric thinking, bro? <laughs> bro was looking it up like this. Bro was looking it up at him like this, bro. Yo, bro was giving some whiplash trying to guard that. Look at that shooter stuff, bro. Imagine him and Tim Duncan playing on the same team, bro. That just would be the most unfair mid-range game stop, unstoppable force right now. That is insane. Timeout Phoenix. You know when he starts to get aggressive offensively and it's going. The confidence is there. Look at the pull up three. Devin. Oh, let me make sure I'm not mudded or anything. Woo! About to say it, I would have went sad. I was spending some knowledge, boy. I thought I was mudded for a second. Playing time has been limited thus far. Zach Collins. Another three. Damn, look at the score. Yeah, that is. The Spurs almost have 70 plus points in the first half. They never would have did this in the early 2000s. I'll sit up here and tell you this right now. That's crazy. Put Wet Bananas back in the game and we riot. Look, they got him out the game. Yeah, center stealing the ball. Nobody in the paint to guard that. And that's crazy, too. They need to get a better. They need to get um backup center, bro. The, uh, the Spurs. They don't have no center. Uh, Backing up Wet Bananas. Wet Bananas. Wet Bananas! Too easy. Bro, the Spurs are finally giving him the ball more. It is about time. Hallelujah. You can't guard that. Wet Bananas. Wide open. Boom! Bro, his jump shot is just so smooth, bro. This guy is literally nine foot two and a half shooting so smooth. Guys, you're telling me this is not the number one big man right now in the NBA, dog. Like, to be honest, right now it is literally Curry and it is Wimby. Top two players right now in the NBA. Tug. The generational inspirational impact this man is having right now. Eubanks tangled up. Johnson to the defense. Booker goes right around him. The drive to the basket inside right hand finish. Mason. The Spurs almost have 80, bro. How? Trust me, they would love to end this quarter. No way. Weapon is. The quarter's about to end. Weapon is pulling up. Generational inspirational talent, bro. No, they're, they're like, bro. I don't even think anybody in the stadium realizes what these guys like. You know what's the same, man? Like, social media has just normalized it to just make it seem like things are just so great all the time with things in sports or different things in the world. 
that sometimes you will overlook certain greatness, dog. Like, bro, look like prime Tracy McGrady. <laughs> Pulling up is before the buzzer beat. Bro, the way he walked into that shot, you're telling me this isn't a problem? See, see this is the thing that I'm honestly just going to fear a lot, a little bit, man. Because there's going to be a lot more NBA players that's going to become envious outside of just his team. And I don't. I feel like a lot more NBA players are gonna start to target. You know what I'm saying? Wet bananas. Now, if I'm the commissioner of Adam Silver, immediately within the next week, you need to make a huge meeting in the NBA organization and get together and maybe make a huge announcement. Maybe that could be potentially national televised, and say if there is any excessive force when guarding wet bananas, um, and there's ex excessive force in the fouls or just um, just aggression and anything like that, you have to double up the fines. Because right now, right now, the NBA doesn't probably see it, but the entire stock of the National Basketball Association is just skyrocket, bro. 2024 and so beyond. You know what I'm saying? It's probably going to get to a point, and it's crazy because I've heard about this multiple times from um, you know, LeBron talking about he wants to uh, own a team or make his own team. I, exactly the words he was uh, trying to say, but something around there. Uh, they call it the expansion league. The NBA's stock is literally going to go up because of wet bananas, all right? Now, don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Other NBA superstars like Steph, Chef, Luke, and Curry. Um, and, you know, you got Jock Edge and the Compo. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? LeBron's, of course, that's helping the NBA stock. But... Wet Bananas is going to take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Because not only does he come from overseas, you know what I'm saying? He's representing how overseas players are playing. You know what I'm saying? Like overseas, if you've been hearing about it and you do your research, apparently it's a lot more aggressive contact and a lot more fundamentals. That's why when you would watch stuff like with the Team USA battling with other teams across, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Summer Olympics and stuff like that that just passed, you will see a whole bunch of rare talent that you would probably never heard of before because they're not in the media like that. And now with Wet Bananas, and you know what I'm saying, making that statement, Martin, now don't get twisted. You had Luka Donakic that came into the league and um, Jokic and then Akunpo. You know what I'm saying? that made huge impacts with players that have come from overseas uh, and had a, ma a massive great success. But Wet Bananas is literally the main mainstream, you know what I'm saying, of the NBA. Like, tickets are just character, like, I don't, even under, I don't even think that Adam Silver understands that it's probably going to get to a point where they're going to have so much fans in every stadium, they're going to probably need to build bigger stadiums, which means they're going to have to have more NBA teams. That's basically what the conversation I wanted to get into. Bro, my light just broke after giving that speech, bro. Hell. But, bro, bro. The point is, Wet Bananas is generationally inspirational and absolutely sensational talent. And this is not to be overlooked. Bro. Bro. And it's popping it too. Look at that. He doesn't even have a smirk on his face. He has like a confident like mentality, dog. It's amazing. Uh, see, you should have passed that number 10. Bro, all the Phoenix Buns people left the stadium. Them tickets are probably seven dollars. Yo! Oh my! How are you jumping for that like that? That is shit discipline. Another quarter three downloaded this one for Brana. 14 of 23 shooting for San Antonio. It's the amount they've added to do. Booker. Wow, where's KD at? Golden Johnson inside left hand, strong finish. Double team attention. Watanabe with a touch pass. Swings it to Allen. Sets fire. I would have made it up sleep. To Grayson. Cues it up Stop letting Allen and Grayson score. For Kevin, it's 25 minutes. 
Open the back door. Wet bananas! You see what I'm talking about? Hold on, you put his hands on what happened. Look at that, bro. Move out the way. And that guy got to get in the weight room, too. Bro, look at this damn IQ. A lot of NBA players would have gave up on a play like this. You know the other NBA player that wouldn't have given up on a play like this? Mr. Wardell Curry. Him. I think, honestly, Webb Bananas definitely has been studying Curry's game, too, if you think about it. Because back to what I was basically about to talk about, a lot of NBA players would have just gave up after not having that wide open three. Instead, he cuts right to the rim. All you Hooper Hoopers out there need to take notes. This man is amazing, dog. Look at the Suns. Look at the Buns bench. Look at the Buns bench. Yeah, they're putting their head down. They can't believe this talent, bro. Oh, I paused at the wrong time. My bad, Webby. But number eight ran right into him, though. In need of multiple stops. Quick bananas. Holy. Bro, they can't stop this man. Booker. Yeah, he was a pack. KD. They're finally passing it to Wemby more, man. I'm about to shed a tear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Bro. And then, what, what What was this? Bro. This man, Shaq, right after the last Sperms game, I wish we reacted. I wish we could have probably reacted to the clip anyway because it's from TNT. Bro, he compared Wemby and Bol Bol as the same two players, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, man, bro. Oh, man. That's, bro. There's nothing else to even say. He compared Wimby to Bobo. And, 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 and why isn't Bobo on the, uh, on the buns, too? Why isn't he playing? <laughs> <laughs> They're finally passing the ball more. Wow, bro. He literally hit a better... He literally hit a better layup animation than the doctor, the signature Dr. J roundabout layup reverse. Bro, he literally hit something better than Dr. J. Wow, bro. This guy is amazing. Booker is literally trying to compete with Wet Bananas. Wet Bananas! <laughs> the Phoenix Buns are so trash, dog. Oh my goodness, bro. Nah, this super team is definitely the top two super team bust in NBA history already, bro. Like, these like, like, like these guys are not even competing at all. Like, don't let them win against the Warriors. That was just a straight-up fluke, bro. Like, their tallest player is literally Kevin Durant. They didn't get no center. They got straight They got straight small forwards and shooting guards. They don't even got a point guard in the center. Yo! Wet bananas, man! They don't even know what the fuck they doing. Gets a double screen, raising up for three. Booker splits down. You don't think you'll foul out this year? Booker. Ah, when we gotta rotate and pack that next time. I'm sending that to the cheap seats. Looks stagnant right here with Devin off on the weak side. Oh, hell no. That lucky ass way. He ain't doing that again. He think he's doing something. Damn. Didn't even try to help him up, man. Wow. Who thunders it home? They're only down by three. 
Got an LA Fitness player on the bench. Kevin Durant. Wet Bananas getting double teamed. What the hell? Oh, no. Okay. Burns down by three. Yes, sir. We are tied at one six in the fourth quarter. That's not going to work. Collins backing down. Spin baseline. Passes. Wait a minute. He, he finished that? Where's the foul? Spin baseline. Passing it. Oh, he like threw that in. Bro, they didn't even call the foul. Spin baseline. Passing it. They literally pushed the shit out of him. Who hammers it home? Timeout, Phoenix. Where's the foul? They hating on weapon ends. Seventeen to thirty-five. Collins gets loose in the paint, running over Eubanks. Wow. See, this is when you have a big enough lead to be able to withstand it. Wet be bananas? To little be ISO? Oh, oh, my goodness. No way. Wet bananas! Bro. To be able to execute here down the stretch. This guy is in a nine foot ten and a half ball player doing this shit, bro. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. You cannot make this up, bro. I can't believe what I'm watching. This is literally a PC 2K mod, bro. To be able to execute here down the stretch. Everybody that try, bro. Take everything negative you ever said back about wet bananas, bro. If it's not now, now is the time. I can't wait to see the box score, bro. What bananas, bro? And, bro, and this is literally what I was just talking about also the last couple of reactions, too. Bro, he has, like, a closer finish badge. Comeback kid or just, well, he wasn't down at all this game, really. But, like, he has, like, a closer four-quarter badge. Every time when I see wet bananas in the under five-minute mark in the fourth quarter, this guy gets plus 20 attributes everywhere. Just pass that man the ball. Bro! Kelvin Johnson as we go under a Here's Zach Collins who has played an outstanding game. Drops it off to Jones. Timeout wow. Phoenix. 130 to 119. The Phoenix Buns lost two straight to the Spurs. We all know who's going to be winning in the playoffs if these teams ever match up. Yo, the Buns are literally a flop team, bro. Are they even gonna barely? Are they even gonna make the play? Proved to three and two, two and one on the road. The Suns wow. are two and three. Bro, how much did Wet Banana store, dog? Bro, we need to see this box store like right now. How much did Wet Banana store? How much did Wet Banana store? Wet Banana's at thirty eight. Bro, hey, look at the minutes. Finally, that's how you know the reach is getting there. That's how you know the reach is getting there. All you San Antonio fans, y'all better motherfucking thank me. Because I guarantee you, if I did not say shit, he would still be under 30 minutes. What did I tell you? The, he didn't even play what I wanted him to play. I wanted 35, but 34 is getting there. As soon as he plays 30 plus minutes, what happens, bro? 38 motherfucking points. He was a little bit too lazy to score too much. I mean, two more points that would have had him 40 points. 38 points, 10 rebounds. Shaq, hold this motherfucking huge L. Hold this L. Don't ever compare it. As a matter of fact, Shaq, unfortunately, this game right here was better than six years of your prime NBA career. And I'm here to say it. And it's facts. 38 points and 10 rebounds from Victor Webb. Big Big Nas is better than six years of your prime career. Take back everything you said on national television. Anybody that called Weapon in as a bus, take everything back that you said. This is a generational, inspirational talent. You can't make this up. Bro, I am so proud of this, man. I am so proud, man. And we were here to watch it from the damn near beginning, bro. When he was in uh when he was overseas. This is absolutely inspirational. This is a perfect stat line, which needs to be for the sperms for the rest of the season. As you see, it looks like the Johnson and Keldon dude was fell fall back a little bit and passed the ball a little bit more. This is your stat line right here. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else is like they played their role. Popovich finally played a generational, inspirational talent more minutes than how he's supposed to. It's about time. Bro, I am so happy for Wet Bananas, man. Um, shit, didn't, is, this, is, is this a rookie career high? He outscored LeBron James' rookie career. 
Um, rookie career high. Let's look that up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let me shut up. I'm glad I looked it up. Okay. Wet Bananas was literally four more points. I ain't gonna lie. He's breaking that shit even before All-Star game. I'm calling it right now. Um, so when LeBron came into the league, it was obviously 2003. So 2004... So, you know how you get drafted in, like, the year, and then it's like, you, you go into another, you guys understand. So, LeBron's highest was 41, and that was 327-2004. It is not even a new year yet, bro. There's only been five or seven games in the NBA season. What bananas is going to break LeBron's rookie record? In all honesty, bro, I literally speak the most facts. Isn't Wemby the best rookie since LeBron James came to the NBA, bro? Like, this is absolutely incredible. I am just super proud, bro. Like, I'm super proud. Wemby jersey is on the way. Um, and when you see it have it on, I am not no uh, San Antonio Sperms fan. But Wemby, you know what I'm saying? You are the man. Uh, he's officially, after this game, in the top seven in the NBA rankings of right now and of all time. Let me repeat. Wet Bananas is officially, after this game that he had, this beautiful game that he had right here, is officially in the top seven of right now in the NBA for all positions and of all time. And that's facts. This, bro, I, this, is, this is speechless. He left me speechless with this, man. Left me absolutely speechless. You have KD. He had a nice game, but it wasn't enough. 28 points and six boards. But during this game back, he had 31 points. He was too lazy to get one more rebound. I would have had him a triple-double. Um, and he had 13 assists. Um, let's see if there's any um, extra clips, and that's going to cap it off. Bro, I am just so proud of Wet Bananas, bro. Literally a big slap in the face revenge, and, and, and he's doing everything perfectly right. Uh, for one, he's not getting into the media. He looks like he's barely in the damn social media as it is. Uh, two, he's not responding to any of the critics. He's just going out there and having fun as a normal 19-year-old should, you know what I'm saying, when you're living your dream. If, you, if any of you hoopers out there... You know what I'm saying? You need to really take note on stuff like this, dog. Like, there, uh, uh, there's, there's, there's no uh, clips, extra clips that I can find. Let me see if there's any, like, post press conferences or anything like that. Um, there's a... Uh, okay, okay, here we go. This is actually interesting. They have what, uh, what Bananas and Katie and Booker and Coach Poffers react to, their, to the game that they just had um, of today. Um, but, bro, like, this... What was I just talking about, bro? I don't even remember. But, bro, Webber is a generational, inspirational, sensational talent, man. Get it together. We won't watch this uh, uh, thing in full. What aspect of the game in the first quarter were you most pleased about? Uh, you know, I think we got the big lead because we were on fire. And, you know, that happens. And at the same time, at the other end, we played really solid D and rebounded well, which allowed us to get out on the break and get some open shots. Because uh, that's, that's a great time to get, you know, Drives of the whole open three. I want to hear. I want to yeah. hear really Popovich in this interview. Shout out a guy named Flight Reacts for inspiring him to play this talent more minutes. He has to say at some point in this uh, press conference, right? And when our offense went sour and we got in mud a little bit, that's when Kevin and Devin started running, and you know we couldn't uh, keep up with those two. So. We talk about, the game goes. We talk about Trey a lot, but just how much, how important was he in the second half? Especially considering you guys. Didn't yeah, you know, that. as we said with the other game, if he's not out there, we, we're we're not experienced enough uh, to hold things together in what I call play solidly, and he, he allows us to play solidly. And then on top of that, he'll make those winning kind of plays, whatever it might be, loose ball, steal. Um, uh, there are a lot of former Spurs in the Suns team, you know, Drew Max, Kia, basically, all Shemez Mezzo over there. How special is to see those guys develop and grow into this league in a different uh, I'm, I'm thrilled for them. You know, these guys are going to have careers. And, you know, when they started out, uh, you know, they had a lot to learn. And hope. Let's get to Bucker. How did it feel once you got sat down for a minute and then came back out there? Um. I, mean, I was undecided going into the day. You know, I needed my court time to see if I was actually going to play or not. And, you know, that process of checking all those boxes and then, then bringing a minute restriction on, that didn't last very long. But, um, you know, there's just a lot of extra variables that go into it other than a, a regular game day. But, you know, that's, that's the flow of the game. I knew I'd find it. Um, I think none of We'll just finish over top of our smalls. Uh, and catch and shoots, you know, he's a 
So he's wet bananas got to say. Man. He's tough with that size and that shooting touch. Um, so Look like at I said, he Katie, didn't, man. He didn't do much credit. handling the ball or one-on-one -on -one action or posting this up. He just kept the game simple, and that's what that's what great players do. Wow, man. Katie, so much massive respect. You know what I'm saying? Real recognized, real giving. Um, wet bananas as props instead of being like uh, – and instead of being like these uh, hating uh, other heads out there, man, uh, trying to say otherwise. You said you were a fourth quarter player, huh? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, it's a re requirement, you know, for uh, if we're being ambitious. Bro, like the choice of words is just so amazing, too, man. Just like ambitious, like I didn't even honestly know how to use that word right until just today. Um, I've always heard about that word, and I have a feeling on how it's meant, like what it means, but I never knew how to exactly use the word until now, bro. Like, you literally also learn how to, you know what I'm saying, just like become a better human being just by witnessing Wet Bananas like energy aura, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just getting the hang of everything. Remember, you guys, he hasn't even been in America for like a full year. He's just getting accustomed to everything. He's coming from overseas. He's just wholesome, man. How tough was that, especially you guys played the last six minutes, I think without a timeout. Um, just kind of walk us what you guys were talking about during that and, and trying to you know, prevent the... Uh... Of course, there's a, there was the threat of Durant and Booker. That was a <laughs> major <laughs> concern, you know, playing the Suns, especially accent, in man. the fourth quarter. So uh, And it worked really well in the first quarter. Our, the energy we brought, so... We really try to to find this again to lock in to know our rotations, uh, our our tactics, and uh, otherwise there was uh, way less offensive uh, tactics in the, in the fourth quarter. It was since we didn't have no more time out, we had to listen to the coach what play he wants and then go go get a back go get a bucket. Wemby, you take over. You know what I'm saying? Popovich is a coach, and we understand that. But remember, you are the man. You know what I'm saying? You're the prize at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, bro, this guy is just such a leader, bro. Just, like, look how he composes himself, bro. Um, and, and, and and really, the only other NBA players I can compare him to in terms of just, like, having that, you know, nice character and holding himself well is people of Curry and LeBron. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of NBA superstars, you know what I'm saying, that just don't have good press, you know what I'm saying, um, skills. And they, you know, and he, bro, this is just, man. Can't believe it, man. We're here watching this and witnessing this, man. Wet Bananas, 